As the year draws to a close, I look back on the first year of my formal training in HEMA, and I've done a lot of awesome things. I'm very proud of where I am, but I'm also seeing some of the problems with what I'm doing and some of the limitations that I have. I came into this with a strong background in classical and sport fencing, which has taken me a long way, but it's also held me back in certain areas. And this leads me to the subject of this video. The next thing I have to tackle is my Napoleon. This is a term I'm stealing from a new friend of mine that I just met named Jonas, and he was describing how when he's fencing, when he's bouting with somebody, he has this overwhelming desire to win that sometimes puts him in a position where he doesn't do the right thing. He doesn't feel like he can do it well enough. So he does the thing he thinks he can win with, he can score a point with. And that's not good fencing. It's not masterful fencing. It's almost like Napoleon is there trying to win Waterloo and he won't let him do the right thing. What you're seeing right now is me fencing my friend Hoseus, who is an amazing fencer. And what Hoseus is doing is the right thing. He's making the correct decisions and the correct actions. And he's not worried about winning. He's worried about doing them correctly. I'm worried about winning. And I am scoring more points for now. Go back and rewatch this section. Look at my footwork, look at my blade work, look at my structure. You'll notice a lot of problems. My ego won't let me do the right thing because it's afraid I'm going to fail. So the previous video was taken Monday at the end of class. He would taught a lot, he was tired, but now he's refreshed and he's been practicing that whole week. And now he can do the right thing at the right time. He wasn't afraid to fail before. And because he let himself fail and he let himself fail doing the right thing, he now can do the right thing correctly. So watch him move. You'll notice that when he moves, his sword always moves first before his body, before he commits his weight. He uses Fulin to sense what I'm doing, and he moves within my action so that he can parry, parry again, and then hit. He's also in a strong position when he's doing these things. Now watch me. I'm fast. I am very fast as a fencer, but I'm not using the correct techniques. I'm not using the correct principles. Watch my body move at the same time as my sword or sometimes before my sword, committing my weight before I have my sword out in front of me in a good structured position. Watch him set up the feint, remain patient, and wait for me to fish for what he's trying to do, seeking his sword instead of listening and trying to work within his action. I have a bunch of different coaches, but one of the coaches that I have is James Riley, who is also Hoseus' coach, and we're right now working his mechanics almost exclusively for this bout. And you can see that he has a much better understanding of those mechanics. Because of this, he's finding more opportunities to have a strong structure, he's finding more opportunities to work in as my actions, he's using Fulin better, and he's just able to beat me. Now don't get me wrong, this isn't a pity party. I'm not terrible. I am a decent fencer, and I do score some hits here, and I do use the principles correctly, like right here. I sword move first, and I get this shot. It's not perfect. It's not perfect. I've got plenty to work on. I've really only been studying in earnest with James since around about July. Hoseus has been studying with him since about April, and you can see that he is much further than me, but it's not just because of the time that he's been studying, it's because he was able to conquer his Napoleon. He's been able to fence with a win condition that does not get more points. Sometimes his win condition is don't double. Sometimes his win condition is that he has to do a certain action in a certain way, or he has to be able to stay strong, or whatever it is. But it's not just win, it's do a certain thing the right way. This is the path to mastery. It's not about getting more points. It's not about being better in a tournament or in a bout. It is about trying to do what you're trying to do. Do the thing, the art that you are practicing masterfully. That's not to say we don't want to win. We're doing this. We're performing the art masterfully so that we can do this at the highest level. The end result of this practice and mindset probably will be winning because if you practice in such a way, if you are a master of your art, of course that'll lead to fencing better, which will lead to winning. But if you're just trying to win and you're not giving yourself the space to fail and learn and you're letting Napoleon take over and you're not letting him lose Waterloo, well, then you're not gonna learn anything. You've gotta be able to fail and you've gotta be able to be okay with other people seeing you fail. This is incredibly difficult. 
Hoseus is an amazing fencer, and he was rated very highly on HEMA ratings. And when he started doing this, when he started letting go of that desire to win and embodying this system, he fell a bit. And that's hard because, you know, a lot of us look at HEMA ratings and things like that, and we take a lot of stock in that. We really shouldn't because there's, it's, it's a flawed system, but that's beside the point. But being able to let go of his ego and being able to let go of those things and focus on getting better made him a better fencer and now he's climbing again and he's gonna do so much better he's gonna be so much higher now because he's got these mechanics he's got these things that he didn't have before he's on a path to mastering the art that he's trying to embody using these mechanics and that's awesome and it took a lot of courage to do that and i was very inspired by this and by my coach james as well and all of my coaches really and so that kind of brings me to what i'm gonna do with all of this if I want to get better, I gotta deal with Napoleon, because he's not letting me do the right thing. I'm gonna start off small. The next three months, my win condition is not getting more points. It is correctly embodying these mechanics that I'm working on. I'm sure this is not going to be great for my HEMA ratings if I go and do this at a tournament, and that's okay. I need to be okay losing. I need to be okay losing in high-stakes situations. Ignore my ego, work on my fundamentals, allow myself to fail, defeat Napoleon.